Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we'll do something different. We'll solve an electrostatic problem. We'll solve problem 21 of chapter 21 of Fundamentals of Physics. A non-conducting spherical shell with an inner radius of 4 cm and an outer radius of 6 cm has charge spread non-uniformly through its volume between its inner and outer surfaces. The volume charge density, rho, is the charge per unit volume, with the unit coulomb per cubic meter. For this shell, rho equals b divided by r, where r is the distance in meters from the center of the shell, and b equals 3 microcoulomb per meter squared. What's the net charge in the shell? Okay, let's start drawing the shell. Here we have our outer shell and our inner shell. Here, let's put in the center here. And we know that we have an inner radius and we know also the outer radius. Let's represent with R1 the, ion, the inner radius and here we have R2 is the outer radius. We know also that the density, the charge, uh, charge density, rho, it will be B divided by the radius. If you want to compute the total charge or the net charge, it's necessary to sum all the charges in the shell. In this case, as the charge varies continuously, it's necessary to integrate to obtain the net charge. The net charge will be the integral of the density in the volume. Therefore, it's necessary to write the infinitesimal volume. The volume of the one sphere or spherical object, it will be 4 pi divided by 3 r to the third. And if you want to to integrate in the radius, because we have the density written as a function of the radius, it's necessary to differentiate here, considering the radius. So we'll have the infinitesimal volume can be written as 4 pi r squared dr. And now, we can integrate to obtain the net charge. The net charge will be the integral from the inner radius to the outer radius of the density B divided by R integrated in the volume, so 4 pi R squared dr. And here we will have the charge will be here we have 4 pi times b integrate from r1 to r2 and we can cancel here we have r dr. Therefore the charge will be 4 times pi times b r integrating here we will have r squared so r squared the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared divide by 2 maybe it's it's better to to do it, it 
with one more step. Integrating here, we'll have r squared divided by 2, varying from r1 to r2. Therefore, the charge will be, here we can cancel, and we have 2, so we have here 2 pi b multiplied by r2 squared minus r1 is squared. And here, here we have our solution. Now, it's only necessary to use our numerical values, but here we have already the solution. Using our numerical values, we can write 2 pi times b. b is 3 microcoulombs per meters. And here we have r2, the outer radius, 6 centimeters. We are using here meters, so we can write here 0 0.06 six centimeters squared minus 0 0.4 centimeters, so or better, 4 centimeters or 0 0.04 meters also squared. Therefore, our net charge it will be 2 times pi times 3 times 0 0.06 squared minus 0 0.04 also squared. And here we have the solutions 0 0.038, 0 0.038 microcoulombs this is the solution here we have and that's it the problem is solved mm -hmm.